I want to show you a little bit about my visualizer today. Let you find that exact wall thickness quick and easy and is a tool I wouldn't be without when I'm making hollow forms these days. Hi, I'm Trent Bosch from Trent Bosch Tools and I want to show you one of my favorite tools today, my visualizer, which is a, a really a simple tool but so effective in letting you figure out exactly what your wall thickness is. Back in, uh, it was about 2010, I started playing with the, this, this idea and this possibility of using this camera and this monitor to allow me to see where exactly where the, the uh, wall thickness and the tool is inside my hollow form. Uh, it really was just a, a, a thought about uh, what if I had an x-ray machine that started the whole wheels turning and, and moved it further on into what I'm going to show you today. Um, but if you think about it, an x-ray machine would show you exactly where your tool is inside that hollow form. But the visualizer does it in a much simpler, much more efficient way even. So the visualizer basically comes with the monitor. So it's a unit that comes uh, uh, all set up and ready to go, has a mounting bracket on it, and there's a little mount that you put on your lathe if your lathe needs this mount. Some lathes don't, like my robust lathe already has a little bracket on it that this mounts right in, but this little bracket also comes with it. It comes with the, uh, the camera bars. So a camera mounted in there, as well as the bars to go ahead and mount it on your stabilizer or whatever other hollowing system you might be using with the visualizer. It comes with a few Allen wrenches. It comes with a little uh, guide or gauge to allow you to set the visualizer up properly. A uh, wet erase marker, and that's pretty much it. Oh, a power supply. Everything that you need to use it is included with it, except for the hollowing system. So um, basically what you're going to do when you get it is you're going to go ahead and mount the little cup mount that comes with it on whatever setup you're using. This is my stabilizer we're using it on today. And I'm just going to drop that in there, and I'm going to just lightly tighten that down. I'm just going to go ahead and unwrap the cord wrap in the back here and get out quite a bit of cord. So this is going to be the connection. It powers the camera and it gives video to the camera. So I unwrap, I don't know, 10 or so wraps. And then I like it to be able to go down, way down, out of the way, so that it's nowhere near our rotating piece. And then we're going to plug the yellow into the yellow and the red into the red and um, just wait for it to pop up on the screen. So that image will then pop up on the screen. So once we have that image on the screen, what we're going to want to look for, and this is already set up pretty nicely, is we want to get our tool about in the center of the screen. If that tool is in the center of the screen, that means that our camera is mounted basically right above that tool, which is going to give us the most accurate um, wall thickness of all. So let me, I'll let me kind of move it a little bit and kind of change it so it's not in the center of the screen. If you're way up in a corner like that, or I'll loosen this one too, or way forward like that, that camera is no longer um, right over top of the, uh, <clears throat> of the tool. So you want to go ahead and manipulate the bars. So there's this horizontal bar that I manipulate. And that will give me the, the uh, axis that's kind of going back and forth across the, uh, the screen. And then I manipulate this bottom one and I rotate it back and forth uh, in order to get the other axis that we need to, to set up. So, and I do that, just let's do a couple little more. Let's just get it right there. That looks pretty darn close to being on the center of the screen for me. So now that tells me that this camera is really darn close to being right over the top of this piece or right over the top of that cutter. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this little card that um, comes with your visualizer and I'm going to slip it under the tool. When I slip that under the tool, 
I'm going to bring the cutter right up to that little center sort of bullseye that's on this. And that's going to basically be my uh, center point for that cutter. And then I'm going to go ahead. And so everything I've done right now has been down on the lathe. And now I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, wet erase marker and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to draw on the monitor itself. So I'm not drawing anything down here and this little card is down on the, the stabilizer itself. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come on over here to the screen or the, the monitor. There's a prote protective um, overlay on top of this LCD screen and that's what I'm going to actually draw on with this um, wet erase marker and I'm just going to kind of trace the tool itself. So when you're drawing this you want to be looking straight at the the tool on the screen so that you draw it right over the um, the cutter itself. Once you have your tool drawn on there as you can see um, when that tool disappears even if I just put my hand over it that uh, drawing that I drew on there uh, still stays. So let's actually let's stick it inside the hollow form now and you can kind of see how that cutter uh, is shown and I, that was just a quick drawing. We don't need to have a, a piece of art as far as our drawing is concerned. Just a quick rendering of what we're doing on there is all it takes. Let's go ahead and take it one more step. So this little guide here that we're using, um, basically what it's going to allow us to do is decide what our wall thickness wants to be. And if I want my wall thickness to be, uh, let's say, a quarter of an inch, each one of these lines is an eighth of an inch. And I'm just going to trace around um, that quarter of an inch line. And then when I go ahead and put this inside the hollow form now, I have that secondary line that's going to allow me to basically know how close I want to get that cutter to the wall. So that line that I've created on there is what's really going to be my, okay, when I get that to the outer edge, uh, when I get that to the outer edge of that hollow form, that's when I've decided that um, the wall thickness is where it needs to be. And unlike the laser, this is a whole bunch of dots around here, basically. It's just a continuous line. But when I'm using the laser bars, I have to change and move my laser several times. With the visualizer, you don't even have to worry about that. It's very intuitive because you're looking directly at your tool and it's, it's super straightforward and lets you know exactly where that tool is inside that hollow form. It lets you develop incredibly uh, precise wall thicknesses in the craziest forms that you can even think of. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment below. Um, if you have any questions, I'm always available. Feel free to email me or call me. I'm happy to talk with you about uh, the various tools we manufacture here at Trent Bosch Tools. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.